All right, this is proof you can hit anything in the MLB The Show events or Battle Royale. This man I'm playing against right here has some of the worst batting averages. He is Ketel Marte P5, by the way. And he's hitting 129 with Ketel Marte P5. Look how low that ball was. Two-seamer in the dirt. Probably almost three feet below the zone, if that's even possible. At least two feet. He misses that one. Great. This, this at bat is insane. Now, it, like, I get it's on all-star difficulty, but there's got to be some sort of, if you swing too early and it's that far below the zone, it's a miss no matter what the difficulty is. There's got to be something in place because some of these pitches are just crazy. Okay, this one I put pretty low, but not as low as possible. Bows it off very early, swing, and he's down it off somehow. All right, this one I put a little bit lower. It's a slider. Gets a piece of it. I mean, look how low that is on the on the feedback. Anyway, all right, change up. Didn't put that low. And it ends up almost on the plate that time because I released it late and he still gets the foul. All right. Now, I, I blocked his name because I don't want to just... I don't want to just shit on this guy, whoever it is. But then I, of course, throw a slider. And then it, it, if I left anything in the zone, it was probably going to get hit. And what do you know? Hit early home run on a slider away. But now we do end up winning this game. But even when I'm hitting here, I swing at an awful pitch. Look how low it was on the feedback. My PCI was well above it. I somehow get it in play. I mean, at least my timing is good. But still, there's got to be something... Like, no matter what difficulty, you can't hit a ball if it's that low or that out far out of the zone, and your timing's not. That's just crazy. I purposely put it as low as I possibly can, and this one actually gets put in play. Um, so, yeah. But hopefully this is something they can fix for next year, even if it's in a... Like, this is the, this is the event, too. This is the Moonshot event. This isn't like, you know, playing against someone on Veteran or Rookie. This is at least All-Star, um, and it's still... Pretty glitchy. Now, this next opponent, he's hitting 554 with Mike Trout at P4. 554. All of this guy's batting averages were close to 500. So, I don't know if he only plays events. That's how he gets him there because those do count towards your online batting averages. But then you'll see Mookie Betts, 498 with like 53 home runs at P5. Unbelievable. The game somehow lets me win this game. <laughs> like, I won this game 2 to 1, but. Almost lost the other one against the guy who was hitting balls out of the dirt. Did lose to another guy who picked an MLB stadium and was throwing pitches right down the middle and hit a walk-off home run on a pitch below the zone. It, it's just like, like events in BR got to get better for all those people who do playing ranked to get them to play those game, game modes. And then these guys who play events in BR exclusively who want to play ranked, they got to fix ranked and all the problems with ranked. If you guys know about, you know, the pitch warping. I mean, I'm sure that happens here too, but... Um, there's plenty of issues in rank seasons as well. Hopefully that they can fix it, but I just want to show you this because some of this is hilarious. Like this guy probably should not have lost to me, but, um, and, and I lost to someone worse than me too. So events in BR are total crapshoot, like just prepare for it. So you don't get frustrated if you've never played it before, but hopefully they fix this stuff next year.